Hello YouTube and people of the interwebs, welcome back to once again another, yes another, <laughs> Doctor Who news and filming video update. So, I actually have Intel live at the scene right now. <laughs> one of my friends, one of my closest friends, a guy who you probably know from some of my videos, he's been in Echo's End as well, Artie. Artie is currently on the set of Doctor Who, like, not acting. He's just in and, among, in and amongst the crowd and all the people taking loads of pictures, and we've got a bunch of exclusive videos, pictures, and stuff to go through. So, first things first, which is just mental, people, well, Artie and a bunch of other people were claiming that Louis Theroux, this is apparently Louis Theroux, I don't think it is, there's no way it can be, because it doesn't make any sense, but allegedly, possibly, the tiniest, tiniest possibility there is that Louis Theroux is on set in Doctor Who. Now, it would kind of make sense in that, like, Russell always used to have famous people, like, playing themselves, like he had politicians for Vote Saxon, he had Sharon Osbourne in and stuff, so maybe, but I mean, I'm not entirely convinced by the pictures. <laughs> I don't know, though. Tell me what you think. Is it Louis Theroux in the comments? I mean, probably not. Like, there's... Anyway, that was the, the most small and insignificant thing because there is also the possibility that Jenny, the Doctor's daughter, is coming back and much, much more. But you're also probably wondering why my hair is a mess. It's because I am stuck, like, two hours away from London in the pouring rain. We're, we're caught in the rain. <laughs> And I just had to, it, it was one of the most tragic moments of my life. I was stood sheltering in the rain in the co-op, uh, watching everyone else enjoy themselves in the boiling sunshine in London, watching Doctor Who film. But what can you do? <laughs> we'll just jump straight into this news. Anyway, so Georgia Tennant has posted this picture first on her Instagram, which says, like, Have a good day, everyone. I love you. And it says day one at the bottom. Like, day one of what? Day one of filming? I don't know. So I'm presuming, because she posts about her kids a lot and stuff, she's probably left this, like, piece of paper for her kids. Like, obviously, David is filming in London. And for those of you who don't know, I'm assuming everyone does, but David Tennant is married to Georgia Tennant, who played the Doctor's daughter and is actually the Doctor's daughter. And what I mean by that is Peter Davison had a daughter, which is Georgia. Georgia then played Jenny in Doctor Who, who the actress of Jenny, Georgia, then marries David, making her the Doctor's wife. So she's the Doctor's daughter, the Doctor's wife, and the Doctor's daughter, and the Doctor's child's mum. And it's all very complicated. But, 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 Georgia posted on her Instagram this picture alongside that, which is a boot. And it, you might be wondering, well, who cares? It's, it's a it's a boot. What, what, what relevance does a boot have? Well, the wonderful people on Twitter immediately jumped to finding, um, finding pictures of Jenny's original costume, and apparently it's the same boot. Now, I'm no boot expert here, but apparently she's wearing the costume, and the fact that she's saying goodbye, and then, like, the fact that they're filming now... Like, I don't know. And as I say, I've got, like, live <laughs> live informants on the scene who've just captured pictures of Russell T. Davies entering the set. And he's there with Rachel Talalay... 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 However you want to say her name, I can't speak. Um, Rachel Talalay... Talalay... I can't... Let me know in the comments how to say that name, because I always get it wrong. But she is the best director... Doctor Who has ever had. She did classics like Heaven Sent, Hellbent, Doctor Falls, World Another Time, Twice Upon a Time, etc, etc. She's genuinely brilliant. She claimed yesterday on Twitter that she's not directing this episode, but this is the second day in a row she has been seen on set, and as I say, it's coming from a mate of mine, so it's I believe it. You, you, yeah. We've got pictures as well. It, it is happening. RTD's there as well. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. Uh, Georgia Tennant, yeah, is this confirmation she's coming back? Because, I don't know, it's a really weird, somewhat cryptic tease, maybe? I mean, Twitter definitely thinks that Jenny, the Doctor's daughter, is coming back to the show because everyone's going mental on Twitter at the moment about it. But, I don't know, it does keep, like, it, it, it's in keeping with Russell's style of just sort of making vague hints online and letting nerds like me go absolutely mental about it. 
because that seems to be the new marketing approach. Like, even when they announced the 14th Doctor, they didn't just go, oh, we'll announce the 14th Doctor in the middle of Wimbledon. They just went, here's some emojis, guess. And we all panicked for an hour going, oh my god, is this star? And then an hour later, it was revealed that Shooty Gatwa would play the 14th Doctor. So it is, this is the marketing scheme they're going with. Like, when they were announcing Rose as a new character yesterday, who now I have confirmation she is Donna's daughter, which I theorised yesterday. When they were announcing her, they did put out these emojis again. So yeah, it is the style of marketing they're going with. Anyway, I mentioned that I now have confirmation, basically confirmation, oh my gosh, my hair, basically confirmation that she is Donna's daughter. And that is because my friend and a bunch of Twitter people as well, like Twitter mutuals, whatever you'd call them, they have reportedly heard in a scene where the TARDIS takes off and there's all the whooshing noises and the smoke effects and all of that going, uh, Sylvia and Donna's husband are like holding her back as she shouts mum at the TARDIS, which unless she's just yelling mum for the vibes, Donna's in the TARDIS and I'm presuming she's not yelling at David Tennant, who knows though, <laughs> but yeah, she's basically confirmed, like she's with the rest of the Noble family as well, I spoke earlier about the fact that we've seen the picture with Sean Temple Noble, like having his arm around her and yeah, it, it's all adding up and it does just make a lot of sense and it, it's it's really cool, like in my opinion, it's just, it's great to see, I genuinely cannot wait for this episode, it's gonna absolutely slap. Now, as I say, we don't know whether George is coming back. I mean, I'd say the likelihood it's still quite unlikely. I mean, there was a Reddit leak, which, you know, not the most viable source of information, but there was a Reddit leak going around, which I'm sure you guys could find yourselves online, that said, like, it was from about a month ago, and it did predict that there was Donna has a daughter called Rose, that Donna and Tennant are coming back for a few specials. So, yeah, they, they also said that a classic companion was returning in episode three of the specials, which makes me think, it, it, would Jenny count as a companion? I mean, classic implies old Who, but the old Who companions like Tegan and Ace are already back for the centenary. So, I don't know. I'm going to say it's, it's a possibility, but it's unlikely. Like, I... Uh, I, I What I don't want to happen is Russell to cram too much into the episode, or the episodes, because then then it all goes downhill. Also, adding more credence to this whole um, three, three big anniversary specials to celebrate 2023, um, we talked yet earlier in the early video about the fact that this episode they're filming now is probably set at Christmas, because on the, uh, on the posters in the background, which are of Rose Tyler's old workplace, they say the 14th of December to the 31st or something, which that implies Christmas, if anything implies Christmas. And um, yeah, it just, that, that would be special number one. Maybe it's on New Year's Day, kicking off 2023. Also in the scene where Donna gets taken away by the TARDIS, that heavily looks like she's leaving the noble family behind. So it's probably the end of the first episode or the first special, giving this big like, oh my gosh, cliffhanger call moment as the Doctor and Donna go back off on their adventures, which would make a lot of sense. It would also explain why they're filming now so that it's all in the can ready to go for when the actual, when, when Christmas time is. This is the exact date they filmed David Tennant in London for the um, end of time back in 2009, I believe. So it does make a lot of sense. Like, yeah, if you're going to film a Christmas special, you'd film it now. Now. <laughs> you'd film it now to make sure that you've got it. But yeah, I think that does bring us to the end of another Doctor Who News video. I am absolutely shattered, but I will keep you up to date with any more... Oh dear. Any more <laughs> news and stuff happening in the Doctor Who universe. Thank you very much for watching. Comment down below if you know anything, if you've got any spoilers, leaks, pictures, exclusive thing in the jiggies, let me know. Also, please check out Doctor Who Echoes End, our unofficial fan film. I've put hours of work into it, and it'd be cool if you checked it out. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell, etc, 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 blah-de-blah-de-blah. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.